Russia's flagship talk show, 60 Minutes, discussing Joe Biden's trip to Kyiv. A host, Olga Skabeva, asks if Russia had guaranteed his safety, and if so, why? We could have killed Biden, but that would have been too much, her guest replies. We spoke to Sergei Markov, a one-time advisor to President Putin, just after he came off the show. Washington made contacts with Russia before the visit to avoid nuclear war. It was about not killing John President of United States, Joe Biden, from Russian rocket uh, missiles. Um, if you, uh, was this would have meant potential nuclear war if anything had happened to him. Uh, yes, one of the possibility of the killing president of United States or president of Russia that it could lead to the uh, nuclear war. No comment yet from the Kremlin, but this is a week packed with presidential speeches. There is plenty of time. And these pictures will be spun to further the Kremlin's narrative that Ukraine does Joe Biden's bidding and that the real enemy here is the United States. No doubt the symbolism of this trip is not lost on Vladimir Putin, but unlike this time a year ago, he understands now there is no quick win to this war. He's seen the shape of Ukrainian bravery and of its allies' resolve in money and tanks and sanctions. And it hasn't stopped him yet. So, Minister. China's top diplomat was in Hungary today ahead of a trip to Moscow. The Kremlin says he may meet the president after the US warned China against supplying military aid to support Putin's war effort. China has not so far, but if it does, this terrible war in Europe could become more dangerous still. Diana Magne, Sky News, Moscow.